High Resolution Imaging Science Experiment is a camera on board the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. The 65 kg £140 million USD instrument was built under the direction of the University of Arizona's Lunar and Planetary Laboratory by Ball Aerospace and Technologies Corp. It consists of a 0.5 m aperture reflecting telescope, the largest so far of any deep space mission, which allows it to take pictures of Mars with resolutions of 0.3 m pixel about one foot, resolving objects below a meter across. HiRISE has imaged Mars landers on the surface, including the ongoing Curiosity and Opportunity rover missions. Topic history In the late 1980s, Alan Delamere of Ball Aerospace began planning the kind of high-resolution imaging needed to support sample return and surface exploration of Mars. In early 2001 he teamed up with Alfred McEwen of the University of Arizona to propose such a camera for the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter MRO, and NASA formally accepted it November 9, 2001. Ball Aerospace was given the responsibility to build the camera and they delivered high-rise to NASA on December 6, 2004 for integration with the rest of the spacecraft. It was prepared for launch on board the MRO on August 12, 2005, to the cheers of the high-rise team who were present. During the cruise phase of MRO, HiRISE took multiple test shots including several of the Moon and the Jewel Box Cluster. These images helped to calibrate the camera and prepare it for taking pictures of Mars. On March 10, 2006, MRO achieved Martian orbit and primed HiRISE to acquire some initial images of Mars. The instrument had two opportunities to take pictures of Mars the first was on March 24, 2006 before MRO entered aerobraking, during which time the camera was turned off for six months. It was turned on successfully on September 27, and took its first high-resolution pictures of Mars on September 29. On October 6, 2006 HiRISE took the first image of Victoria Crater, a site which is also under study by the Opportunity rover. In February 2007 seven detectors showed signs of degradation, with one IR channel almost completely degraded, and one other showing advanced signs of degradation. The problem seemed to disappear when higher temperatures were used to take pictures with the camera. As of March, the degradation appeared to have stabilized, but the underlying cause remained unknown. Subsequent experiments with the engineering model M at Ball Aerospace provided definitive evidence for the cause, contamination in the analog to digital converters ADCs, which results in flipping bits to create the apparent noise or bad data in the images, combined with design flaws leading to delivery of poor analog waveforms to the ADCs. Further work showed that the degradation can be reversed by heating the ADCs. On 3 October 2007, HiRISE was turned toward Earth, and took a picture of it in the Moon. In a full-resolution color image, Earth was 90 pixels across and the Moon was 24 pixels across from a distance of 142 million kilometers. On May 25, 2008, HiRISE imaged NASA's Mars Phoenix lander parachuting down to Mars. It was the first time that one spacecraft imaged the final descent of another spacecraft onto a planetary body. By 2010, HiRISE had imaged about 1% of Mars's surface and by 2016 the coverage was around 2.4%. It was designed to capture smaller areas at high resolution. Other instruments scan much more area to find things like fresh impact craters. On April 1, 2010, NASA released the first images under the HiWish program in which the public suggested places for HiRISE to photograph. One of the eight locations was Orium Chaos. The first image below gives a wide view of the area. The next two images are from the HiRISE image. The following three images relate to the first images taken under the HiWish program. The first is a context image from CTX to show where the HiRISE is looking. Topic. Examples of high-rise images The following group of images show some significant images taken by the instrument. Some of these hint at possible sources of water for future colonists. The following set of pictures show first a full image of a scene and then enlargements from parts of it. A program called HiView can be used to produce more detailed views. Some pictures are in color. HiRISE takes a color strip down the middle only. Topic. Purpose The HiRISE camera is designed to view surface features of Mars in greater detail than has previously been possible. 
It has provided a closer look at fresh Martian craters, revealing alluvial fans, viscous flow features and ponded regions of pitted materials containing breccia clast. This allows for the study of the age of Martian features, looking for landing sites for future Mars landers, and in general, seeing the Martian surface in far greater detail than has previously been done from orbit. By doing so, it is allowing better studies of Martian channels and valleys, volcanic landforms, possible former lakes and oceans, sand dune fields such as Hagel and Neely Patera, and other surface landforms as they exist on the Martian surface. The general public is allowed to request sites for the high rise camera to capture. See high -wish. For this reason, and due to the unprecedented access of pictures to the general public, shortly after they have been received and processed, the camera has been termed the People's Camera. The pictures can be viewed online, downloaded, or with the free HiView software. Topic. Design HiRISE was designed to be a high-resolution camera from the beginning. It consists of a large mirror, as well as a large CCD camera. Because of this, it achieves a resolution of 1 microradian, or 0.3 meter at a height of 300 kilometers. For comparison purposes, satellite images on Google Mars are available to 1 meter. It can image in three color bands, 400 to 600 nanometers blue-green or BG, 550 to 850 nanometers red, and 800 to 1000 nanometers near infrared or near. HiRISE incorporates a 0.5 meter primary mirror, the largest optical telescope ever sent beyond Earth's orbit. The mass of the instrument is 64.2 kg red color images are at 20,048 pixels wide 6 km in a 300 km orbit, and blue-green and near are at 4,048 pixels wide 1.2 km. These are gathered by 14 CCD sensors, 2048 times 128 pixels. HiRISE's onboard computer reads out these lines in time with the orbiter's ground speed, meaning the images are potentially unlimited in height. Practically this is limited by the onboard computer's 28 gigabits 3.5 GB memory capacity. The nominal maximum size of red images compressed to 8 bits per pixel is about 20,000 times 126,000 pixels, or 2,520 megapixels and 4,000 times 126,000 pixels 504 megapixels for the narrower images of the BG and near bands. A single uncompressed image uses up to 28 gigabits. However, these images are transmitted compressed, with a typical max size of 11.2 gigabits. These images are released to the general public on the HiRISE website via a new format called JPEG 2000. To facilitate the mapping of potential landing sites, HiRISE can produce stereo pairs of images from which the topography can be measured to an accuracy of 0.25 meter. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Images naming conventions. HiRISE images are available to the public, so it can be useful to know how they are named. This is an excerpt from the official documentation. Name PPP underscore U underscore TTTT underscore FFFF underscore C. IMG PPP equals mission phase. Int equals integration and testing. Cal equals calibration observations. ATL equals ATLO observations. KSC equals Kennedy Space Center observations. SVT equals sequence verification test. LAO equals launch. Crew equals cruise observations. APR equals Mars approach observations. AEB equals aerobraking phase. TRA equals transition phase. PSP equals primary science orbit, November 2006 to November 2008. REL equals relay phase E01 equals first extended mission phase if needed EXX Topic. Additional extended missions if needed to MRO orbit numbered equals target codef filter, CCD designation REDO RED9 red filter CCDs IR10 IR11 near infrared filter CCDs BG12 BG13 blue green filter CCDs C equals channel number of CCD 0 or 1 the target code refers to the latitudinal 
Position of the center of the plant Observation relative to the start of orbit. The start of orbit is located at the equator on the descending side, night side of the orbit. A target code of 0000 refers to the start of orbit. The target code increases in value along the orbit track ranging from 0000 to 3595. This convention allows the file name ordering to be time sequential. The first three digits refers to the number of whole degrees from the start of orbit. The fourth digit refers to the fractional degrees rounded to the nearest 0.5 degrees. Values greater than 3595 identify observations as off Mars or special observations. Examples of target code 0000 planned observation at the equator on descending side of orbit. 0900 planned observation at the south pole. 1800 planned observation at the equator on the ascending side, day side of the orbit. 2700 planned observation at the North Pole, off Mars and special observations values 4000 star observation 4001 Phobos observation 4002 Deimos observation 4003 special calibration observation Footnotes See also Long Range Reconnaissance Imager Telescope Imager on New Horizon Probe Topic External Links HiRISE Official Website Beautifumers Tumblr from HiRISE Help NASA Categorize Images Taken by HiRISE Patterns of Mars 12 High Resolution Photos by HiRISE on WWW Time Com Browse Map of Images from ASU How High Rise Works, Lesson 1, Camera Basics How High Rise Works, Lesson 2, Resolution and Binning Multimedia Created with High Rise Imagery, Data by Kevin Gill and Sean Doran.